If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, oftentimes we hear on mainstream media that Islam is a religion of terror, that Islam is the ideology that created ISIS. We continue to strike the next of your people. Islam is an inherently violent religion and the other religions such as Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity and Judaism preach nothing but peace. Islam, however, based upon the Quran, you can find all the violent war passages. Nothing like it you can find in the Bible or God forbid in the Torah. Yeah, well guys, today we're going to debunk that statement. We're going to check out what rabbis have to say about the current conflict in Palestine and what Judaism truly teaches. Guys, before we start the video, if you enjoy my work, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. We must obliterate Hamas, you see. And what Israel has to do, which I'm hoping, of course, they will, is they are going to what's called raise Gaza. They're going to destroy it. What is important on this? Just imagine an Islamic imam saying the same thing about Israel. Just imagine that scene, right? An imam is speaking to the people and he says, we need to obliterate Israel. Now think about the headlines. Extremist Muslim leader is calling for jihad. But when they do it, nobody blinks an eye. Stand. No problem. What the logic of the war is based on the divine plan. There is no permission from the Torah to have any mercy whatsoever during war not on children not on women not on anybody yeah well you heard it here first those are the rabbi's words not mine according to judaism apparently you shall show no mercy whatsoever in war moreover you shall show no mercy to children or women so now let's just contrast that with the islamic conduct of war this comes directly from abu Bakr al Siddiq, the first caliph he told his military commander, stop, O people, that I may give you 10 rules for guidance on the battlefield. Do not commit treachery or deviate from the right path. You must not mutilate dead bodies. Do not kill a woman, a child, or an aged man. Do not cut down fruitful trees. Do not destroy inhabited areas. Do not slaughter any of the enemy's sheep, cow, or camel except for food. Do not burn date palms nor inundate them. Do not embezzle nor be guilty of cowardice. You are likely to pass by people who have devoted their lives to monastic service. Leave them alone. And in case you believe that I'm making things up here and those rabbis are just extremists, their words are not based upon scripture, please have a look into Samuel 15.3. Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, but slay both men and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. So there you have it. This is Jewish scripture and moreover, this is Christian scripture as well. This is from the Old Testament. So Christians and Jews agree here that you shall not spare women, children, even babies in war. But however, we all know that Islam is the religion of terror and the religion of violence. Yes, sure. But the point is right here that Hashem say, do not have mercy on the children. Kill all their children also. Why? There's no difference between them and their children. In 10 years from now, these children will attack you on the way. Hashem knows. God knows. Yeah, we're not playing by your rules. We're playing by the rules of the Torah. The verse in the whole Bible, it says, happy is the one that takes the, the infants of Babel and of Edom and smashes them on the rock, just like they did to us. The last one, this is what we say before benching. Right? Judeo-Christian values, everybody. That Lovely. The ultimate Beautiful. revenge, revenge again, are going, are innocent infants. Happy is the one that takes the infants and smashes them and kills so them happy. on the rock. 
and then we then we bless Hashem for the food that, that we ate. You kill all men and all women, me'olel ve'ad yonek, even babies who breastfeed. Amazing. Amazing. תקסחו אותם כמה שיותר, שלא נשים מהם זכר. שלא הם, לא אימא שלהם, לא הילדה שלהם, לא התינוקות שלהם. אסור להם לחיות לחיות האלה, עם תותחים, עם הפצצות. להרוס בית ולהיכנס הלאה, להרוס עוד בית ולהיכנס. נקמה על מה שהם עוללים לנו, עכשיו הולכת להתחולל. עכשיו הולכים להיות דברים שלא חלמנו עליהם. כן. שיפלו עליהם פצצות שישמידו אותם. כל מה שהנביאים ניבאו הולך על אחרית ימים מתרחש עכשיו All right, that's and this is it for today's video. Absolutely beautiful to hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Those were Jewish rabbis, obviously. They were not just actors pretending to be. No, this is based upon their scripture. This is based upon Christian scripture as well, the Old Testament. You shall kill everything ahead of you, utterly destroy everything you find. But as I said in the beginning, on mainstream media, you will find that the Muslim is the terrorist. The Muslim is always the bad guy. Of course, the people of Gaza are simply terrorists. What else? Israel has been there forever, of course, right? It's not like it is an occupation of sorts. No, not at all. Israel has been there forever. The people of Israel have been there forever as well. And the Palestinians have never been kicked out of their homes and bombed for decades. That never occurred at all, right? And now out of a sudden, those people, they are terrorizing the Israelis. It's not as if the Palestinians are standing up finally. They do not want to live in that open-air prison any longer. They can't see their children being bombed on a daily basis any longer. No, 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 don't even think so far. The Palestinians, after all, are Muslims, right? Yeah, well, if you look into it, that is not correct either. Some of them are Christians. One of the oldest Orthodox Christian churches just has been bombed. But let's forget about it. Let's return to the narrative again. Palestinians are Muslims, Muslims are terrorists, and this is what terrorists do. They simply terrorize innocent Israelis. This is what the media wants you to believe. And when I speak to so-called truthers, truth seekers, they will agree with me in 90% of the cases, but not when it comes down to Islam. Guys, I haven't been Muslim all my life. I reverted to Islam. And there is a good reason for it as well, because I actually read the Quran. I read the Torah. I read the Bible. I looked into it myself and I compared those scriptures. If you do the reading yourself, you cannot tell anybody that the Bible is less violent than the Quran. And of course, you cannot tell anybody that the Torah is less violent than the Quran. I have to laugh here because I read the scriptures. Before I got ready to read the Quran, finally, I was getting prepared. I said to myself, oh man, now I'm going to find some really horrible, disgusting, violent stuff here in this book. And I read the first half of the Quran and I couldn't find it. And then I said to myself, well, I remember people like David Wood, they told me the second half, this is the war portion of the Quran. This is where all the disgusting stuff will pop up. Guess what? Couldn't find it either. You cannot compare the violence that you find within the Old Testament, within the Torah, with the Quran. And moreover, you cannot find war rules that you can find within Islam. We read them out here for you. It is absolutely prohibited, Islamically speaking, to kill civilians, to kill women, children, etc., etc. But... If those are the Judeo-Christian values that you're talking about, I don't want any part in it. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.